Good morning. Thanks for your company. It's 9am. I'm Andrea Crothers. I'm Lindsay Douglas. And coming up this hour, we're live with the state's water minister. We meet California's biggest rancher and the most mouth-watering beef treats get taste tested. Lots to come this hour. But now one of the most divisive questions over any steak is, how do you have it? It's a big debate. How do you like your steak? I'm a medium rare man. Are you? Uh, medium rare. Medium rare? Easy done? All the time? All the time. I've just met this gorgeous little family from Stanthorpe. We have Taryn, we have Lydia, we have Eloise, and over there we have Imogen. They've come all the way from the border for Beef Week. So the great debate, Taryn, how do you like your beef cooked? Uh, well done. She's a well done girl. Oh, uh, medium to uh, medium well. I like it. Um, I like it really rare actually, but I'd normally go medium rare because the other person sitting across the table from me doesn't like it when they're trying off the plate. So. Oh, mate, probably raw, I reckon. Oh, medium rare, always. I like my steak medium rare. How do I like my steak? Oh, medium rare. Very cooked. Very well cooked. Oh, um, I'm a little bit different. I like it really dead. Do you have yours crumbed? <laughs> no, but those well done people need a few questions asked of them. I disagree. I'll take it. If someone else is cooking it, I'll take it. No complaints. That's with any food lens with you. <laughs> a centre ring has absolutely come alive again this morning. The finest of all the breeds strutting their stuff in the Nutrient Ag Solutions Stud Cattle Championship. Martin Bunyard is live. It's Droughties. It's Charolais. Santa Gertrude's Braford. It's all happening out there, Marty. Yes, it certainly is for day two of the stud championships out here. There we will see some of Australia's best stud producers strutting their sires and, of course, parading their feminine females. As you can see behind me, the drought master judging, it's currently underway. There's 216 entries there being judged by Andrew Raff. But now, turning our attention to the commercial cattle competitions and last night, the National Beef Carcass Competition Grand Champion winner was announced and he joins us now. Darren Hamblin, congratulations on winning the Grand Champion Carcass. Tell us, can you tell us all about the carcass? Yeah, I had a look this morning. He's by Next Gen. He's a pole wagyu bull that was a combination of three breeders that worked together to build these genetics over the last eight years. Excellent. How did it feel to win such a prestigious competition? Oh, it was fantastic. The first time we've been in it, that um, class that they started opened it up for us to go in it. It was really good. It was, um, I guess, good payback for us working together. We had a goal and we achieved it already, so it's fantastic. That's great. Now, you're a well-known pole uh, wagyu breeder. Uh, in terms of those pole genetics, some people say that they can take some of the attributes out of the cattle, but you certainly proved them wrong with this win, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I can't answer that question. I'm not sure what attributes you're talking about. <laughs> but um, it definitely is that your pole genetics, they're going well, aren't they? Yeah, well, I guess I'm happy with them. I've got 96% of our calves this year will be polled, so... That's fantastic. And in terms of the uh, actual Wagyu market, we saw it in town last year. Recently, it's been a little bit more difficult, but how's the Wagyu market going at the moment? Uh, look, I speak about myself. It doesn't really affect me because we essentially sell carcasses, you know, so we're not worried about the store market. It's a lot up and down. So people who are in that that really don't know anything else, they're feeling a bit of pain at the moment. But reality is it's um, we've been through a high time and now it's a bit of payback time for those who lost money. <laughs> Darren, congratulations and thanks for joining us. And of course, 12 more breeds will step out on this international stage they call the Beef 2024 Centre Ring today. And we'll bring you all that action. Back to you. Thanks, Marty. We'll catch up again with you soon. Well, fund manager AAM has been buying up big. It now has close to a billion bucks.